today I'm going to talk to you about heavy weapons in Starfield. That is right, the heavy weapons certification does scale with some other items. If a heavy weapon shoots bullets, it scales with ballistics. If it shoots lasers, which there's only one that kind of sort of shoots lasers and particle beams, it scales with that. But the scaling on almost every heavy weapon, well, basically all of them, are almost negligible and terrible. I'm going to explain and show you. Everything is level 4, so let's start with the Arc Welder. But let's start with a good Arc Welder. Instead of the base Arc Welder, well, I'll, I'll show you the base Arc Welder first. Base Arc Welder with max talents is only 11. And then if we switch it off to a better Arc Welder, which I believe we have one somewhere, like a, an Advanced Arc Welder. Modified Advanced Arc Welder with an Amplifier and Laser Sight. This has way higher tooltip DPS, but it's it only hits for 15. So this is actually very pitiful damage that you're seeing. It, sh it shocks for 15, it burns for 13. It's This is a pitiful, pitiful weapon. It took almost the entire magazine to down Sarah, and she has about 1,020 health or some sort. 1,200. It's somewhere around there. I don't know exactly, but she has more than 1,000 health for sure. It took that long to take her down. The next w weapon is the Auto Rivet, which is a roleplay weapon. And uh, it may look like it has a high physical, but he this weapon is it's just garbage. It's terrible. The way this weapon works is you have to hold your fire button to charge it up. And then you can shoot a spike into them. This is, remember, all skills rank 4. A headshot did 389 damage. That sucks. This weapon, if you, if you just tap it, look at that, 20 damage. That's terrible. 39 for headshots and this thing you would think it would pierce through enemies. It does not it does not pierce uh, You can be point-blank. It doesn't do more damage this this it's a role play weapon And like someone out there at some point in the next 10 years is going to do a rivet only playthrough And it's gonna be cringe or it's gonna be awesome. I don't know the next weapon on the list is the bridger and uh, I actually had one in my playthrough, but here's a base bridger and it's just a grenade launcher. The Bridger, you know, with talent, it's not the worst. One way that speedrunners will probably use this weapon, because you can get it at the very start of the game. You also get one during the story. I know how to get an advanced one immediately through stealing for, through a, a glass shop door. Maybe a video about that in the future, but it's it's a grenade launcher. And uh, yeah, it's, it's only hitting for 281 at base form, but this thing has range. It has a big area of effect attack too. Uh, so if I shoot at this, let's put my back to a wall here. Back is to the wall, and we're gonna shoot at that tile and uh, no splash the bo the base of this circle, and I splashed myself. So it's it's got a pretty big splash radius from like there to to here, a pretty big, not the best damage. Even if we upgrade it, there is a weapon that's just completely better than the Bridger, and it is. Uh, let me see if I can find it here. It is called the Negotiator. And it's just a straight upgrade. It, it does more damage, it does more base damage, it holds double the magazine. It's also a grenade launcher, same exact thing. You can see that it, well, it's supposed to do more damage, I don't know why it didn't there, but uh, the splash damage, it's it's the same splash range, and you can shoot this one a little bit faster, and yeah, not bad. The problem with the grenade launchers is if you're playing legitimately, the ammo is insanely rare and expensive, you have to constantly wait at stores, and rebuy their stock it's a pain in the butt now let me show you the best grenade launcher in the game and it is not a heavy weapon i don't know if it's a bug or a developer oversight but the coachman the basic shotgun can be modified at level three weapon crafting called the hornet nest and this thing is insanely bugged i wanted i just want to show you how ridiculous this bad boy is and i also want to say you don't have to upgrade this at all Upgrading it from a base coachman to an advanced coachman, like finding a, a coachman in a level 75 zone, it the tooltip damage will will show higher, but it is not it does not affect the damage at all. Use a, any coachman, it does not matter. Also, the high powered mod for the gun does not increase the damage, and also this weapon, it's not increased by shotgun specialization or anything. Only the impact damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this a little bit before I show off how crazy this weapon is. It is not affected by ballistics. It is not affected by lasers, pistols, or shotgun certification. Yes, it is a shotgun, but when you have Hornet's Nest, 
The only thing that affects it is demolitions and isolation. You can't do sneak attacks with it for some reason. But essentially, it turns it turns your shotgun into a mid-range grenade launcher. And yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? So it shoots four explosive balls, and those balls explode each. And in total, I had to actually do this frame by frame and record the footage, but you deal 25 hits to the target. So when I shoot Sarah here, you're gonna see a, just a, a, a splash of big numbers. And it's not even showing all the numbers because she only has a health pool of a thousand, so it stops showing the numbers. But if we go and shoot at something with a higher health pool here, like Vasco, you're gonna see a giant, just a, a, like a, a swarm of numbers. Look at that, it just keeps pouring out of the middle. And uh, I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but if you count each number that pours out here, it is 25 numbers, and the lowest damage, not including impact, is 53. So you're going to do 53 times 25, and that is 1,325 damage. And remember, you can get this as soon as you have weapon crafting level 3. You can find it randomly in shops. You can find them just randomly in the game. It's just a tier 3 mod. You can get there really, really fast. And, uh, yeah, you can get this bad boy super early. I haven't found a shop that always has this mod, but once you have this, the game is basically over for sort of kind of. It's, it's not recommended for indoor use because if you accidentally shoot something, like say I'm taking cover behind this kitchen and I'm shooting at the enemy. Well, my bullets might clip the, the counter here and just insta-kill me. No matter, like, I would need thousands of HP to be a, an extremely high level to survive a blast from this. And, uh, yeah, the AoE explosion, like, I'm afraid to shoot there. I, let's shoot there. And, uh, well, okay, that didn't do so bad. But this is more of an outdoors weapon for hunting aliens on the planet's surfaces. Don't use this in caves. Don't use this indoors. You'll end up killing yourself. And it's, it's, it's too strong, okay? It's just way too strong. So, again, it doesn't count as a heavy weapon, but it counts as a grenade launcher. And, uh, I think it's bugged. If you turn a regular grenade launcher like uh like this one into the hornet's nest it'll only do like five little splash damages it won't do 25 so it's definitely bugged and uh, take advantage of it while you can now let's talk about the other heavy weapons real quick because there's a clear winner in the list so i'm going to show you the bad ones before i show you the good one that's usually how youtube videos go i'm sorry but the next one is the mag pulse uh, i should have one i believe yeah mag pulse and this is not upgraded, but I do have max skills on it. It's, um, I don't have any ammo for it. Uh, it is, uh, okay, it, it's basically just a, a single shot rifle. It just goes bam, 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 and it shoots, like, like three bullets at a time into your target. It deals very little damage. It, it's a little bit more than three bullets, but, uh, it, it's such a crappy weapon. Don't use this. The damage per second sucks on the mag pulse, no matter how much you upgrade it. And then we have the micro gun. The micro gun is actually interesting. And I'll show you. This is an advanced micro gun with a bullet hose. That means we can shoot doubly, not doubly, but it's slightly faster. This uses very common ammo that the Grendel uses. And it's just a minigun. If you want to play the heavy weapons guy from Team Fortress, there you go. You can uh, use the minigun. And uh, again, you're going to blow through lots of ammo using this. It deals okay damage, fully upgraded. It's not bad. Look at, you know, we, we deal a ton of damage there, but again, you're going to burn through ammo. And it's a lot of fun, you know, just walking around as heavy weapons guy and laughing and killing everything. But there's there's a better weapon. There's a much better weapon. And it is called the Mag Storm. All right. So I actually found one in my playthrough here. Uh, I, I have it with armor piercing rounds. There's nothing more to upgrade on this. Once you have an advanced Mag Storm and you have armor piercing rounds, the game is essentially over. You can buy an early version of this that has a poison modification from one of the stores in Neon. It's not the advanced version, but it's it'll still get you through the game. And a lot of people who watch my videos on my channel know how to get the advanced mag shear. This thing is damn powerful. I'm going to show you the mag shear and then I'll show you the mag storm, all right? The mag shear fully upgraded with maximum skills actually does slightly more damage than the mag storm. We'll use Vasco for this one, okay? So, versus Vasco, you can see we're shooting for about 55. Oh, he's way pushed back. Yeah, we, we're shooting him for about 55 each. But we only have a magazine size of 75. So, that kind of sucks. But with the Mag Storm, our magazine size is 160. 
And the damage is only three less per bullet, but we have... Yeah, we could just... You can hose everything down in the entire game with this weapon. Nothing will survive. You can delete level 98 pirate legends in in, in just a, a few seconds. You, like, if you put the game on very easy, all you have to do to kill anything is just do that. Just that. That's all you have to do. Just light taps onto your mouse or controller, and you will destroy absolutely everything. So... Whenever Sarah stands up, she has over a thousand HP, and watch how fast she drops. As soon as she stands up, I'm gonna go just full auto into her gut, not even not even headshots, just right center mass, and there she's already down. So <laughs> it was like one second for over a thousand two hundred damage. It is insane how strong this weapon is. It is the strongest weapon in the entire game by far. There is no reason to use any other weapon. Than the mag storm and the ammo it, it is the uh the 0.5 mi uh, i've shown in my videos where you can go to basically get this ammo for free consistently the shop in neon that specializes in this weaponry has like a thousand eight hundred bullets you can buy from them and then sit on nearby and reset it every 48 hours and then buy another 1800 bullets so that once you get one of these and if you want to know where do you get an advanced mag storm well, there's one you get in, in the story missions if you decide to kill a certain person, but if you just go to level 75 planets and go to randomly generated buildings with humans in them, you'll find one because the the pirates, the spacers, the eclipse enemies, they do use this weapon against you. And if you just clear out a few buildings, you're, you're bound to find one, at least an advanced one. And then you can put armor piercing on it, if you get lucky, it'll have anti-personnel on it, or anti-alien, or anti-robot, whatever you want. But this is the- it's considered a heavy weapon, by the way. This is a he rare heavy weapon. So, it scales off of ballistics, it scales off of, uh, heavy weapons, it does not scale off rifles, it does scale off of isolation, and you can technically you do a concealment shot with it, but it's rapid fire, so only the first hit counts. So it's not really a stealth weapon, that would be more for the single shot snipers, which I'll cover in a future video, so make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure that you are uh, liking the videos, leaving comments and stuff, so that the algorithm is more likely to show you my video sooner. For those that don't realize this, if you just watch a video and you subscribe, the video will show up in your feed two to three days later. Like, it'll it'll send you an email or a notification. Hey, Soul Bidgey uploaded a video. And you'll be like, what the hell? He uploaded this three days later. But if you leave a comment, and don't just say comment. Don't just say for the algorithm. Say a comment that, that would be, you know, around the video. So leave a comment like, wow, heavy weapons are so good. I really enjoyed your blah, blah, blah. You know, just leave something with a bunch of keywords in it. And the algorithm will really like you for it. But if you also like the video, that's a combo. And you will be first come, first serve when the video goes live. So you can see it first. And I know this is a single player game. But if, if we were playing multiplayer, this information could be life or death. Especially if it's like a full loot game. But with that said, thank you so much. I read every comment. I have no life. Thanks for the 100k subs. Uh, no no sign on the plaque yet. I'll, I'll, I'll show a picture in my community tab when I get it. Uh, it's going to take like 10 days, apparently, to get approved for it. But with that said, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. And um, if you don't click it, then if you own a pet, that pet will incessantly meow or bark for hours on end and pester the hell out of you. Uh, it just knows that you didn't click the video, so it's going to do that. I'm a, I'm a pet mancer. I can, I can make the pets do crazy things with magic powers. I don't know, man. Just, just click the video. I, I don't have any good, funny ideas. Thank you so much.